Hi, this is Corey, and here's a video to explain this feet and inch calculator Excel spreadsheet that I built. Um, a lot of people may already have these, but if you don't, this can be a handy tool for you to use when dealing with feet and inches. So, first off, I have a just for adding simple feet and inches. So, if I have 6 feet plus 6 feet, that's going to equal 12 down here, plus 3. Then, if I have 3.6, be 15 feet 6 inches, 0 feet 6 inches will go up to 16, 1 foot 3, so you can go right along the line and you get your answer down here at the bottom. Um, another thing is if I want to convert a feet and inch with fractions to a decimal feet, I can say 8 foot 5 and here, this would be 4 sixteenths or 5 sixteenths. Um, and that goes into decimal feet. And here, so, so this side is all for just dealing with sixteenths. If I say 7.55 feet, that comes out closest to 9 sixteenths. Now, if I want to do this over on the right hand side, I can do it for all types of fractions. So if I wanted to convert uh, 12 foot, 10 inches, and uh, one fourth that comes out over here and I'll just show you how this works if I did 12.8541666 it's going to go back to 12 foot 10 and a quarter if I was to switch this to 16 then that comes out to 4 over 16 show it in A's and heck you can even show it in 12 if you want to um, the last thing is adding and subtracting by doing the same the same process. Is if I take 12 foot 4 and 5 eighths, and I can subtract to 9 foot 4 and 3 quarters. The difference between these two numbers is here on the left. sum of these numbers, adding them together, is on the right. But the one caveat that I have is if you make this number larger, this negative sign doesn't work, so uh, this must be bigger than measure 2 on the spreadsheet. So I hope this is a helpful tool for you, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. You can find this example Excel spreadsheet in the comments. Uh, a link to link to the Excel spreadsheet in the comments. So, thank you very much.